So in this case, I want us to consider our forward resistance of a diode, uh, which is another part that you, you need as you are to consider a diode. Uh, it follows that when a diode, uh, when you're given actually a diode of a forward, but was a talk of the forward resistance. So when it is uh, forward uh, biased, that diode is being what? Forward biased. What does it mean? It means there is a resistance that is going to be available on this diode because of that which is the forward resistance from the forward bias condition. So this resistance can be given by the formula that you're not even supposed to worry about because you're also given this in your formula sheet that R is equal to K uh, T, everything over Q times the current, where we are talking of R representing the forward resistance this is our forward resistance and k i talked about this guys from our boltzmann's constant okay remember your boltzmann's uh constant which you are also given from the formula sheet you're also given 1.38 times 10 to the exponent of negative 23 which is joules per per coulomb so guys why am i still having this coulomb in mind this is kelvin Okay, so the K there is representing the Kelvin. The temperature, which is our saturation, uh, temperature, which is our thermodynamic. So that's going to be our thermodynamic uh, temperature. So they are going to work with the thermodynamic temperature in what? In Kelvins. So that's the Joule per Kelvin temperature Kelvins. The Q representing your electron charge. Remember, we had this as your electron charge uh, also given. 1,6 times 10 to the exponent of negative 19. Uh, that is the one for the Coulomb's charge. And I there is representing the forward current. Forward resistance, forward current. In what? In amperes. So that will give us the forward resistance, which is measured in what? In ohms. So the resistance of this, which is our forward resistance, is measured in what? In ohms. So that's it. So with this, guys, you can uh able to calculate anything that you are given. They can play around calculating the resistance, calculating the current, we can even calculate the temperature, manipulate that from the formula. You can make anything the subject of the formula. So questions can be given uh, like this, where you are even calculating the forward resistance. What is the forward resistance of a PN junction diode which conducts, which conducts, which means forward. So that is our forward current that we are given and which is being conducted. So the forward current is six milliamps in the forward biased condition at a room temperature of 35 convert to kelvin i talked about this you add 273 so that is going to give us our temperature in what in kelvin so remember q electron charge and k you are given that those constants from the formula so there what is going to be the resistance that is our question what is the forward resistance. So as we saw from our formula that the resistance, which is our forward resistance, is given by K times T over Q times I, where K is our Boltzmann constant of 1,38 times 10 to the exponent of negative 23 times the temperature in Kelvin. Divided to Q, electron charge, so you're given this 1,6 times 10 to the exponent of negative 19 times our current forward current of 6 milliamps times 10 to the exponent of negative 3. That was going to give us uh, the resistance value, which is 4,428 to three decimal places. 
we have got the resistance, the forward resistance. All right, another question you are given, uh, that is in this case to calculating uh, the part of calculating of the forward current, okay? Calculate the forward current. Remember your forward current is I in that case of a diode with a forward resistance of, so we're given the forward resistance, 8,625 ohms at a temperature of, okay, so that's 24, two Kelvins, we're gonna add 273. That is for us to obtain the temperature now in what, in Kelvin. So that was going to give us 297 Kelvin. So with our formula for the resistance, forward resistance, which is stating that Q, that R is equal to K times T over Q. I like that. You can make what you ask the subject, which is I in that case. Remember, you need to calculate the forward current. So you can make this the subject. Okay, this is the same as over one. Let us cross multiply. So that's going to be R times Q times I like this. This R multiplies this. One is going to multiply KT. So what is that you need? You need the current. So you're going to divide by RQ or by QR, depending on the way that you have written there. So divide this. You are remaining with what? With current, the one that you need to calculate. So therefore, our current was going to be given as K times T over RQ or QR. So we're going to substitute everything. That's we are obtaining the current. L of K, that's 1,38 times 10 to the exponent of negative 23. The temperature, we have this 297. So there we're going to have 297 over the resistance value, our resistance 8,625. So that's we're going to have 8, 625 times the value of the electron charge Q, which we are given as 1,6 times 10 to the exponent of negative 19. So this will give us the current, which is measured in amperes. So that is 0, 0,00297 amperes. And you can even write this in milliamps. So multiply by 10 to the exponent of three, that's to convert to milliamps. So you can even write this as uh, so if you multiply by 10 to the exponent of 3, you are going to obtain 2,97 milliamps as your forward current from the forward resistance and the other information that you're given. You can calculate that forward current. So this is how questions sometimes might be given as.